Hey guys, today I want to talk about using weight in the bow rather than pressing. When we use weight, we are using the weight of our arm to sink into the string to get a natural sound as we pull the bow across the string. When we press, we're using our muscles to push down and force a sound out of the string. So when I use weight rather than pressing, I get a bigger, more even sound. When I press, I tend to have less control of my sound. I get a lot more squeaks and it's harder for me to control what's going on. Um, I tend to have less dynamic range um, and you can only get so much sound when you press. Even if you're a big, strong, muscular guy, there's only so much force that the string can take when you're just using your muscles to press into the string rather than using the weight of your arm. And on top of all that, if I use weight and I'm relaxing my arm into the string, I have so much less tension than when I'm pressing and I tend to wear out my arm. So if I'm pressing in a very fast and long section, then I wear out very easily. So usually we press when we're tense. I find that if I'm nervous about a section and, or if something's coming up that I'm a little worried about, I tend to retreat up and use my muscles rather than relax and use weight into the string. And even if you have this technique down and 99% of the time you are using weight, this can happen where you'll go back and you'll revert back into pressing. So you not only need to know how to use weight rather than press, but also recognize when you're pressing and when you're using weight. And so we're gonna talk about both of those things today. So first of all, let's talk about what goes into using weight into the string. When I was first taught this idea, my teacher told me to completely relax my arm onto the string. And so naturally, I sort of let my arm sink down into the side. And that's not very good because you have no control here. This is not a good bow arm form. I'm not sure if you're aware, but this is not typically the best form to have. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a form in the arm. For me, this is a very obtuse angle. And I have the angle that I'm generally set at. I sit exactly the same way every single day. And so this is where my arm goes. And this might change as you go up and down on the string, then that's fine. We're just gonna stick for the sweet spot right here. So my arm is slightly bent. My wrist is straight along with my arm and my shoulder isn't too high. It's pretty low right here. And so you wanna maintain this form, which is gonna take a little bit of muscle to maintain as you're pulling the bow across the string. But other than that, that's the only muscle that you should be using. The back of my arm here, my tricep is completely relaxed. My back is relaxed, um, at least right now. My forearm is relaxed. And so you just wanna make sure you are maintaining this form. And then when you sink the weight into the string, you wanna keep that form and then pull the bow across the string. If you can see, I've maintained that form all the way through, but I'm still using weight rather than pressing. Usually I know if I'm pressing, if I'm looking in the mirror and my tricep is really tense, I can, I can usually guess that that is what's going on. And if I'm raising my elbow, that's another clear sign that I'm pressing, along with all of the different signs that you can hear when you're playing, like a thinner sound, a lot more squeaks, you have less control over the sound. All of those things go into pressing. Um, so let's practice on getting your arm completely relaxed. So put your bow at the side, or just hang it down by your side, just like this. So hold on to it, keep your bow hand, and just put it by it on your side. And you want to focus on relaxing all of the muscles in your arm. Don't even worry about the form right now, we'll add that later. So focus on relaxing your triceps, focus on relaxing your biceps, your shoulders, your back, your forearm. Just focus on keeping your bow hand. And now when you feel like you're completely relaxed, Swing the arm up and plop it down on the string. And so then, this is what it should feel like to be completely relaxed and use force with the weight of your arm rather than pressing with your muscles. So now you wanna adjust a little bit, maybe straighten out your wrist, get your arm all situated to where it's at an obtuse angle, or for some of you, it might be a little bit farther up here or it might be more straight arm. Either way, find that form that works for you and see if you can now relax the muscles onto the string. So relax your triceps, relax your forearm, relax your shoulders, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, now after that, just focus on drawing the bow across the string. 
and pay attention to what your muscles are doing. If you find that one of your muscles tenses up, don't get frustrated, figure out which one it is. For me, the very first one that would tense up is my tricep. I constantly wanted to use that tricep even though I'm not really sure what I'm kind of going for here because I don't think that any sort of force would be added with my tricep, but that was what I found. So if you do find that say your forearm feels a little tense, pay attention to that and the next time focus on just relaxing your forearm as you pull the bow across the string. So to practice this, long tones are your best friend. So maybe when you're warming up in the morning, the first thing you can do right after you tune is to practice your long tones. You can do this by just playing the open strings or you can focus on one note or you can do it in your scales. You can combine the two. What I like to do in my scales is play them very slowly in whole notes. You might want to make them longer and that's fine. Um, and so I just focus on the big sound that I'm getting. And yes, I do focus on getting weight into the string and relaxing my arm muscles rather than pressing. That's a great time to focus on that. Other than that, I would just work on it in context. This isn't something that you're going to be able to change overnight, but if you keep working on it in long tones and if you find in your music that you're using, that you're pressing rather than using weight, stop and see if you can fix it. See if you can relax your arm and play just a couple notes in the series of notes that you're playing um, and just use the weight of your arm. After you do this for a while, it'll slowly start to seep into the rest of your playing, but keep working on it. I had to work on this for, I think for an entire year, I only did long tones and I only focused on using weight rather than pressing in my warm-ups. That was all that I did and after a while it started to seep into the rest of my playing and I started to feel better about it um, and look where I am now. <laughs> so uh, keep working on this, be patient with yourself. If you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment underneath the video but until then I will see you next time.